Hello everybody and welcome to Oh wait for it. The Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh my name is Dizzy. And you can't see little Dizzy. Why can you not see little Dizzy? Oh there's little Dizzy. Wonderful. Uh we are heading back into the Medved Tiger Reserve. It's our uh, off hours reserve what we play. Oh boy, that's real jank. Uh, hang on a sec. That's real jank on the camera. We've got lots of things open, uh, which I need to close down. Uh, I'm streaming at, at sort of off hours because it's December and schedules are all a little bit wonky. Uh, but also because. Wait for it while my brain catches up. Uh, also because it's Jingle Jam, and that means you can type exclamation mark donate in the chat, and there's a little link, and if you donate £35 or more, uh, you will receive a, a large curated collection of uh, games, some of which are great. I've played a few of them, like Plate Up and Gladius on stream. Uh, others I can recommend only for personal experience, and there are plenty of games that even I haven't tried on there, uh, and it's sort of an insane deal. Uh, so I would highly recommend anyone and everyone to take up on that. Uh, we are in the middle of the daytime here in Russia. Uh, it's snowy, appropriate for the Christmas season. And we're going to start out with a good old fashioned bit of fixing one's kit. Uh, which means I need to go into here, see what weapons I've got. Now, this map has had uh, an update. It's changed. Uh, in important ways. <laughs> uh, it's got new animals on it that so I'm just busy googling because I've realised I don't know uh, what weapons I need to have on my person anymore. Uh, so they, there's been a big update actually to Call of the Wild in general. Um, they've Partly they've added a new DLC, uh, a New England Reserve, which I'm uh, air about so far. Uh, like, I, I don't own it, but I'm not rushing over myself to buy it either. Uh, but the other thing they've done is what they call backfilling. They've gone in and plopped a whole bunch of species into maps that they weren't in before. Uh, so Medford Tiger previously had six species, it now has eight. Uh, including, very excitingly, a class one, which we've not had in this map before. Uh, including the wolves, which I don't believe were here before. And the brown bear. Uh, maybe the brown bear was already here. I was carrying this caller around. Whatever it is, there's new stuff here. Uh, which means we need to seriously reconsider what our kit is and what it's for. Uh, so to start with, we have on the person at the moment the 303, which is good for classes 4 to 8. And we have the Zaza 15, which is good for classes 2 to 4. Now we don't have anything that will take down a class 1 at the moment, uh, apart from our bow. We do have this handgun, which we probably don't need. So, uh, let's go take that off. I've probably got a handgun scope and some handgun bullets. We don't need those. There we go, handgun scope. Now, we need to find a gun that will take class 1s for us. Uh, my usual is not this. This is the wasp, although this will take class 1s. My usual is the virant, which is also too heavy for us right now. That's a crying shame. Uh, there's also this Sarza, which is also also too heavy for us. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the really good but really heavy rangefinder bow sight. I think I don't think I can easily lose. Well, I can. I can lose two carry weight just by dropping my spare binoculars, but it means I have to come back. Well, it only loses one, but it's still enough. It means I have to come back when it gets to night time. But we're in the middle of the day, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's drop that. Uh, let's grab the Zaza because I've not I've not played around with these 
saw the semi-auto guns very much at all. Uh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Weird. Okay, that bugged out for a second, but that's fine. Uh, we need to find out what ammo the Zaza is compatible with. Zaza 15.2 LR, compatible items. Uh, there's no reason for us not to use these ones, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll take these anyway, because they do kill stuff. Uh, storage. Ammo, 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 point two two LR truncated cone, point two two LR hollow point. We'll use the hollow points first to use them up. Uh, it should be compatible with our existing scope. Uh, I have enough weight for an alternative bow sight, so I'm going to get the five pin. There we go. Uh, and in terms of callers, we have the antler rattler for reindeer. We have the moose caller for moose. We have this for bears and wolves now. We have this for the lynx. Uh, we have this for the boar, and I don't believe there are any callers for the birds. No, that's fine then. Alright, we're all set and ready to go. Let's make sure everything's actually set up properly. Uh, so let's put the... That's the medium size one, we'll put on 3. Let's put the 0.22 LR on 5. Our Hyperion is going on that. We're getting hollow point bullets. Everything else is set up the way I like it already. And we are good to go. Now, what is our quest? Harvest two wild boars. Specifically in this area of the map. And the wind is blowing east. So ideally we want to be moving west. So let's start from here and head down to there. And that seems like a good plan to me. Uh, to keep the stream sort of ticking over at a sensible speed, I, I run Call of the Wild at a bit of a reduced setup. Uh, which does mean, where's my, there it is, that is east. Oh, I want to be traveling west. I want to start here and travel west, hang on. <laughs> Whoopsies! <laughs> uh, yeah, what that means is I can't monitor donors as they come in. Not that that's enormously likely to be a problem. We have raised a grand total of one pound, which is a one pound I'm very grateful for. Uh, it's one pound more than I've ever raised on this channel previously, so, you know. I can't take that as anything other than a success. This is just where we were. <laughs> I fast traveled there and back for no reason, but that's fine. Um, but yes, if you are in Ooh. Oh! The, uh, <laughs> the binoculars have a little error that they did not used to have. Down at the bottom of your screen, you should be able to see... <laughs> oh dear! Oh, that's that's terrible. Can I unequip these and like re-equip them and see if see if it helps at all? No, that's just a a bug that they have now. Okay, great. I'm sure that won't be annoying. <laughs> uh, we're setting off, having a look around. Thirteen minutes is pretty good amount of faff time to have spent. Uh, sometimes I can get it down to sort of 10-ish minutes of kit fixing if I'm super prepared. Uh, today I was not. But that's fine. I could alternatively have grabbed the handgun rather than dropping off the binoculars because I've got the... Oh, hello. Right, we've got two meese. That's the slightly bigger moose of the two. What range are you guys at? Uh, about 150 meters. That's a good engagement range. Right. What's that over there? There's a lady moose. It's okay. We can probably get both of you. Uh, oh, you are, however, 
in a place I don't want any more hunting fish because it'll smush this need zone. So you probably get to live today. Uh, I've got at least two gun kills and a bow kill. On this area, so I don't necessarily want to mess it up. You're you're fairly impressive, but you're not unduly large. So I'm going to kind of let you go until we are out of danger territory. Why? I said that moose is actually coming towards me. <laughs> what an idiot! Um, this animal is apparently calm. Look, if you let me get into bow range, I will probably still shoot you. I probably have the leeway to do it. I think that moose is coming back. They are, it must be said, unusually stupid animals. I didn't get a noise cone wherever that came from, which is a shame. Yeah, he's coming back. Here's what my secondary school P teacher would have called a pillock. Well, we have a first time chat. And it's somebody who needs a band, that's fine. We can manage that. No problemo. You are actually in bow range, aren't you? Okay, he's run off. Uh, I didn't have my big ammo arrows on. Oh, I did have my big arrows on. I don't normally have my big arrows on. I normally have these, which are my... Now, my take will come as arrows. They take everything in this park, apart from birds and moose. He is really... They are really desperate to get shot, though. Like, look at that. Look at that. Idiots. That one hasn't moved at all. Pretty much. Ooh. I like the wind. Oh. Hello. I'm in a very exposed spot. And I maybe have my volume set just a smidgen too high. Because everything sounds very loud to me. How does everything sound to you guys? It looks pretty fine to me. Okay, that's fine. Oops. For the sake. Having trouble tabbing back in. Right. Come on, Pigu. Where are you at? Pigu? Quite far away, actually. Ah, there's a slightly closer pig. Now, I'm feeling lucky. That one. Oh, hello. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, I did. I didn't take off the rangefinder sight. Even though I budgeted for doing so. Oh, I didn't budget for doing so, but I took. Never mind. I don't think I can hit that. Not reliably, anyway. It's flat. a challenging hunt. Oh, hello. This is a less challenging hunt. That's not a good noise. 
that's really not a good noise. I don't like that noise at all. There was a pig there, I don't know where it went. I got distracted by the wolves. Okay. Yeah, me too, pig, me too. That's a bloody loud howl. I don't know if that's just because I've got my volume up. Or if the walls are actually that close. Oh, that's annoying. I could try and chase him down. I'm a little worried that the hunter is about to become the hunted. I've not fought walls before, but second-hand accounts that I have read suggest that it can be fighting them, them trying to kill you, you trying to kill them. That's not close. Oh, there's a pig that I didn't see. Hello. Damn it. I didn't run far as it turned out. Which meant when I intended to give. Oh, oh god, hello. No, 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 I don't want that. I want this. I think I got him. I did got him. Amazing. And that is still alive. Oh, hello. Right. That's one of two. Uh, oh god, this green has changed. Okay. What's I do? Oh, hello, okay. Uh, yep, that's fine. I want to save that particularly. Can't nice just... shooting, but don't get cocky, did ya? You'll need to harvest another ball before the pack runs off. Yep, 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 I'm trying. I was a fraction of a second too slow. That's okay. It's okay, what's that? It's a wild ball warning call. Hello! <laughs> oh, gosh. We really got him. Dang. Uh, ho ho! Oh, there was another one behind him. Okay. And another one! Theoretically, I could, but I'm not very good at leaving my shots. The old bow. Oh, very nice. Uh, let's go over here and get a plop on these... Uh... Behind the tree. Nope, no, 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 no. I need you a little higher, please. Oh my gosh. Wow. That really didn't. Okay, that did face you very much. Hello, who's that over there? Uh, someone who's gone behind a tree. That's annoying. I'm gonna take a gamble on it being a boar. See if I can lure it just a little closer, because that was well out of danger range. Amazing. Another quest down. If I could understand them, I'm sure the Mazdier would thank you for keeping the boar away from their food. The resources are extremely limited in the taiga. Not just for you and me, but especially for the animals. When the environment is stable, nature has a way of balancing these things, 
Unfortunately, the environment is now changing so rapidly that nature can't catch up. Don't stand behind the rock. Don't stand behind the rock. Right, he's standing behind the rock. There's an outpost over to the west of Varot of Pazemni Mir, aka the gateway to the underworld. Oh, good. Yes, it is the real name of a real place. I'm not kidding you. I've marked the area on your hunter mate. Go check in on the outpost. Cool, Wilco. I just uh. Yeah. So yeah. you're probably wondering, what is this gateway to the underworld? Is Elena sending me to hunt demons and armies of darkness? No, I'm sending you to investigate permafrost. Remember that permafrost is a subterranean layer of ice. Rapidly thawing permafrost has seismic consequences, besides the odd anthrax outbreak. Ooh. That's how we ended up with this supernatural rift in the earth. I could give you a dissertation on the gateway, but you'll know it when you see it. Good there to know. There are details in your codex if you want extra credit. Come here! Come here! There we go. Good pig. Good pig. Amazing. Fantastic job, right. Uh, mission log. Southbound and down. Where is this? Oh, down here. We've not been that way before. That's good. A nice new challenge. Let's start by heading to that. Oh, that was very close, whoever that was. Is that a song, Southbound and Down? I think it might be. Uh, I could probably have shot those pigs uh, if I'd been thinking with my thinking brain. Well, I don't think that was a good shot. Oh, that's changed actually. That used to be like an overlay on the screen. Okay, apparently that wasn't the right shot. Because it went down pretty fast. Right. Uh, gotta find some blood. Non vital organ hit, apparently. Irksome. Uh, right, and he's not left like any other tracks. Oh, there we go, he's left a body though. Body over this way. We are heading that way. That should have scared away any nearby animals. So we probably don't have to worry about them, that's fine. The, the, everything feels just a little bit jerkier to my eyes. Now, I know there have been some graphical changes. Uh, video? We're still only on high for everything. It could just be my eyes. Uh, I'm not great at understanding these settings. Like I don't, I don't really know what I need to do for these. Um, Hmm. 
motion part is off. Oh, okay, well. Don't know if there's much more for me to do about that then. Now a reindeer passing through. It's nice. Last time we were here, we ho ho hunted a ho ho whole bunch of reindeer, I think. This is new to me, okay. I will not pass up the opportunity to add another need zone to my map. I was worried because they added a bunch of new uh, animals. I was worried that they would have reset the need zone maps, but it doesn't seem like that's happened, which is a relief. Because I tell you what, I'm sick and tired of, <laughs> of having to have going out of my way to find all these these need zones that are really useful and making sure to preserve them so I can come back and hunt them later. And especially on Hush, I'm I'm annoyed by having to set up uh, ground blinds to cover animal need zones, only then for those need zones to disappear in an update. That would have been Ooh, that would have been a cross dizzy. A very cross dizzy. Uh, no, I want this on ammo. Right, there we go. So I can change arrows in a heartbeat if I'm required to do so. Uh, we also have the wolves to see. We've heard them but not seen them. And we have the pheasants to try and find some faces of. Now one of the things they like to do, or they haven't liked to do of late, is add animals that only appear in like particular parts of the maps. So there's one map that has like four different types of goat and they're each in one quadrant of the map I think. Uh, and then they moved around stuff like Blacktail on Layton, so they only appear in half the map and stuff like that. So because we've only explored, let's be generous and say a quarter of the map, it's possible that we haven't met where uh, the pheasants spawn. Is it pheasant? It's not pheasant. I can't remember what it was called. Where the bird spawns. Um, they also have a new mechanic, and I don't know which bird it applies to. It's not a new mechanic. <laughs> it was a new mechanic like a year to half a year ago. Uh, they have a mechanic where you have to uh, get a bird off the ground before you can get a trophy from it. Typically, we're going. That's the usual method. Um, I don't particularly like that there's this kind of big wall of foliage on my left that obscures any vision that I may have in that direction. But I'd rather be outside it making less noise than in it making lots of noise for the most part. So we're just gonna have to live with it. Oh, what other things have I got to talk about? Uh, there's a few videos coming out on the old YouTube channel in the near future. Uh, yesterday's stream will be split into two, and then this one obviously will also be hidden uh, after those. Uh, ideally, the first one of yesterday's two would have come out today, but that did not happen. <laughs> uh, which should be perhaps self-evident. Uh, I will be streaming again at some point next week. It may not be before Thursday. We will have to see.
Hmm. This is not a new area to us particularly, but it does have the same barrenness that a new area might be expected to have. Where are we headed? We're headed to here and then down here where we've apparently been before. And then I'm mostly sticking to the path as we uh, head south to whatever this point is. We don't have any other side missions either just yet. So uh, we are pretty much stuck to the storyline. I was sort of hoping it would take us further afield. Like this is a new location. I was hoping it would be a slightly more distant new location. Uh, oh, we got some bendy trees. Oh boy, do we have some bendy trees. You guys are uh, you guys okay? Yeah, the one too many, did you? I'm not sure Russians have a concept of one too many, but uh What do I know? Maybe their trees are built different. <laughs> That bit at the bottom is really annoying. I hope, hope you guys can see that on stream. Uh, I don't understand either how it happened. Because it didn't used to be like that, and I'm not sure why they would have changed it. Maybe they changed it when they changed the, uh, uh, the harvest screen. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the change to the harvest screen, I will point out. I think I preferred the old one. Well, it's nice obvious buttons instead of just a bunch of hotkeys displayed down at the bottom. But what can you do? It's a good job this game is pretty. I know I always say this game is pretty, but it's a good job this game is pretty because we've not seen something since we left, like, here. <laughs> we've not seen something in, in as long as it it took us to see all of the things we've seen, if that makes sense. Uh, there are some tracks though. Tracks are a good indicator that there might at some point be something at least to be seen, even if one cannot actually see it. Uh, what have we got? Big on Lucy Boy tracks? Or reindeer tracks? Reindeer tracks. meters to go until we check whatever this is off of our list. rocks getting in my way. Very pyramidal rock as well. Mm. Classic medved problems. Even the places you can see, you can't actually see the ground where there might be an animal standing. You can just sort of see like a layer of foliage. Which like an animal could be in there somewhere but you would never know about it. Two hundred meters.
Like, this bit of forest feels more open than some of the bits around... Uh, wherever we started. Actually, this might be roughly where we started, now I think about it. More or less, somewhere up here. Um, it, it feels more, but it isn't. Oh, that's a wicked looking branch, Jesus Christ. That palm tree doubles as a carnivorous plant when animals get impaled on it. Um, ah, sleep. Tower. Pretty sure that's the tower we've got. Yeah, that's that tower. Empty hillside, big dense bushes. Nothing very much going on. I haven't even met tracks in the hot minute. The last tracks are 200 meters away. <laughs> Nearly upon whatever this unknown marker is, then we'll set course for the next one. Maybe we'll set course for this lake, perhaps. Might be a worthwhile hunting opportunity. It's another little communist star, which means there's some kind of landmark here. Although, it's a little bit of a sort of a shout if you can see it, kids, kind of a landmark, because I sure as heck can't. What are you, what are you marking? <laughs> What's here? A particularly tall tree? Are we, on a, we are on a path, aren't we? Yeah. Taking bets. And guesses. Got no idea. Okay, go on. Swami. You could just be like a poem, sometimes they have those. Zelaznaya Doraga Sevenogo Kanala. Northlink Railroad, part of the longest railroad line in the world. Built before 1916 by the last star, uh, still operational today. Oh, okay. I, it's a, it's a, a general marker for the entire railway. As opposed to the specific marker uh, up there for the one bit of the railway that's got like a crashed train on it. That just no one could be bothered to move. Rock. Well, the railroad tracks will at least. Oh, we're calling the railroads. The railway tracks will at least let us see quite some distance in either direction briefly. 
So it's another opportunity to uh, spy some animals. Anyone there? No. Anyone there? No. Well, that was informative. Right, we are now in Piani Forest. There's not a lot here. I mean, it's doing a good job of selling desolate Siberian wilderness. I was, uh, I was watching a, a stream of, I think, Fion, uh, and they were sort of commenting how Medved feels lonely, and it really does. Like, even though, uh, whatever her name is, Elena? Elena. Even though she's one of the more talkative, uh, like, companions in the game, it still feels very much like I'm sort of struggling for a place without help. Which means they've done an excellent job of the atmosphere, basically. Uh, having the storyline where someone actually died probably helps with that. Uh, I was definitely not expecting someone to actually die. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the previous uh, instances of me playing Medved, uh, that someone straight up died. Which, in hindsight, if I'd known that the characters dying was, like, a possibility, I would have taken things like the uh, late missions about bears a lot more seriously as well. Or, or not more seriously, but more somberly, shall we say. Oh, I didn't check to make sure I had plenty of ammo for each of my weapons, so I did not in fact fix my kit very well. I would have got another bunch of these, I would have got another bunch of these. I think... No, these are ones I've used today. Uh, I, who knows. Point is, I'm, I'm probably fine, like... Okay, I'm not actually over 40, but I don't think I've ever used 40 bullets of a particular kind in one playthrough. So I should be fine. We are nearly an hour in, and not a lot has happened so far. Um, this might be just a bit of a, a wandering through the wilderness. Like, we got a quest done really quick! Now we're just... hopping through the snow. We don't even have a one horse open sleigh. Which is an interesting lyric, because it suggests the possibility of closed sleighs, which I'd not really considered before. That was a reindeer mating call. Oh, luckily the wind is to our backs. Has moved around. And in a way that is more favourable to us. <laughs> which is a rare change. Normally it just moves to point whichever way you're planning to go. Okay, reindeers, let's hear it. Or either though, let's see it. Yes. Any reindeers? There's a movement. Um, a movement.
There is another movement. That was a warning call. I'm not sure from whom, but it was one. Right, okay. Perfect. <laughs> Ugh, he hasn't run, but he's turned away. Stay still, stay still. not get far. Which is great news. So law. Then shot someone over here. Um, you just need to find out where. Because I feel like he didn't spot them first. They haven't died though. Which is interesting. So obviously it wasn't a very good shot. Look around for any blood tracks. It's possible I didn't hit them. Although I thought I did. But if there be no blood, then one can only conclude that I didn't Oh, was that blood? No, those are footprints. Yeah, if there be no blood and no hunting pressure, one can only assume I did in fact miss. It's just a little bit annoying, but it's better than hitting but with a fluff shot. Oh, okay, it did go down. That means I can go and find the uh, centre, which is about there-ish. That's roughly where the blood should be. There's also a feed zone here to pick up. Oh, they are not terribly bright, are they? Got him. Okay. Right, let's pick this up. Pick that one up. Go back and find some blood. Marvelous shot. And then once these have all been picked up, it should hopefully thin out the number of tracks that I need to compete with when looking for that blood splatter. Oh, that's very zoomed in. Uh, I feel like I've added a lot of new noises. Like, each animal used to basically just sort of make one or two noises. I think they now make a whole bunch, which is nice. Oh, you had a very wonky rack, didn't you? Okay. 
Let's go find that blood. Now that we know roughly where it should be. If any of them come back, we'll take a pop. That blood. That's blood. Oh, excellent. Right, okay, you went this way. We're gonna be following this one for quite a while. Unless it's like double back on itself, like the others did. They don't normally double back on themselves if they've been shot. Um But it can happen. Oh, well, mm. okay, they don't normally double back like fully on themselves. Because only when they get shot, they run very far. And then it takes long enough for the, the I've been shot, I must run to wear away. That even if they do start to double back, they don't typically make it to wherever they started from. Either they've dropped dead long long before then, or you're on their trail and you pick them up. Uh, I won't mind the moose though. I need number nine for this. Wind has moved around and it's now going northwest. Well, that's fine because we're going to overshoot and come down more or less due south. Maybe even slightly southeast. So that kind of almost cancels it out, weirdly. Uh, okay, heading this way. See, because there's no sound coming for that, I don't know if that's a moose or a reindeer. It's definitely not a boar, though. Stop picking up the boar caller. That was very close. in a bush, which is not helpful. Come here. Perfect. Oh, I think I hit her in the head. Whoops! That's right, we come back to her. Sabalech and apparently. That means hasn't died. It's possible we did not hit it well at all. I tried to lead my shot because she was moving, and I am just bad at that. It's it's not a skill that I'm particularly possessed of. I can shoot things that are staying still. Nah, that was too slow. This trail is sort of seeming to run out a bit. Oh, hello. Is that a flash of purple over here? Maybe not. 
That's something. Oh, can't fit it there. Right, this is still not tight. What injury did we get? We got no organs at all, okay. Must admit, when I'd taken the shot I was sort of hoping for at least a non-vital. <laughs> uh, if that moose doesn't die, we're not going to chase it down. Even though we ought to. We won't. we see it again, we'll take a pop. Uh, let's put on the Tank of Plumber's Arrows. A circle here. Okay, I don't think that moose is going to die. I wonder where we hit it. Because we did hit it, I saw a big glow thing sticking out of her. What's that noise? That's a pig, apparently. So has she turned a sharp bright here? That's what it looks like, yeah. And then she's maybe gone over there afterwards. That's oh, difficult to tell. Maybe not. Maybe that purple was just a, a chromatic aberration. That's a technical term, which I'm probably not using in the correct technical sense. But, basically, IDGAF. Oh, there's a rest zone here, though. Somebody. So thank you for leading me to that. I've gone well past where I was aiming for, god. Um, Right, who naps here then? Oh, kitties! Always good to find kitty spots, although I've never actually hunted a kitty need zone in this game, in this map. Well, and in this game. Uh, she was still running at this point, god. She does not tire this deer. Oh, well, she did not tire. These tracks are now very old, that's how long we've been stalking her for. We've been stalking her so long that even her later tracks are very old. I hope this did this moose doesn't also take like a billion years and then die. Like if it's fine, if it lives. That's fine. If it dies, I don't have to track it over however far it's gone in this length of time. That will not be fun. Another rest zone. You spoil me. I saw a bit of purple over here somewhere. There it is. 
This is a big one, so this must be reindeer because they're a herd animal. Okay, I'm gonna find the next purple. There we go. And then pick up these. Let me check because there's actually quite a nice clear bit of forest. Uh, it's, uh, it's clear of animals as well. She doesn't seem to be with her herd anymore. Oh, it's a pig. Oh, I forgot they, they move in herds as well. We're coming up to a lake. I've been to this lake before. Uh, I think this is the right reindeer. I hope this is the right reindeer. If not, I'm in deep, deep news. It's the right reindeer. Tell you what, it's nearly night time. I've not got the bloody night binoculars on. On account of being an idiot. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I did not think in two hours you'd actually pass the five or so in game hours that we need to get tonight, but I guess we are. Uh, I've got my torch on ready. Oh, this is a reindeer rest zone. When is this rest zone active? Till 4, okay. It's not a place to find a sleeping reindeer at night. Is that a body? Oh, thank goodness for that. And the other moose is still alive, so once we pick this up, we can head for our destination and possibly end up completely night blind. <laughs> Just possibly. You're already half covered by snow, you poor thing. No trophy. Where did I miss? Where did I hit you? Oh, I was aiming for your organs. I just didn't have enough penetration. That's a crying shame. I think I was on track for the liver as well, which is one of the, the further back organs. Oh well. Ah well. I'll win us some and I'll lose us some. <laughs> Can I travel 1.46 kilometers in an in game day? Unless this happens to be a, a, an outpost, I'm sort of gonna have to. I say in an in game day, in the rest of an in game day, which is like an hour. <laughs> I don't think so. I could cover that IRL in an hour, I'm pretty sure. Although, this is definitely tricky terrain. <laughs> Not nice paths or anything. Can you, can you tell me what the bloody call is? Oh, it's a bear. It's a gone bear. Last. I was I was frantically trying to hammer the the identify call button. I wasn't having any of it. The bear is, however, stuck against some rocks. If I could get a spot on, I think they might fix that bug. You know, no, oh, they haven't. Bugs. He's got free now. Blast. Got him. Luckily, he stopped and stood up and made himself an excellent target. Right, he did go down as well. 
But I think after this... I don't know, there's no outpost nearby. Ah. Right, where were you there? Where is thy blood? There. There is thy blood. Food rate medium. Vital organ hit. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll shot. Okay, now we are going to press on south. Because it's that's the nearest outpost I have otherwise, and it's quite a lot further. So even though. Oh, well, I'm probably gone completely past where I'm supposed to be. I have. Um, but luckily. They went the same way. Oh, there's the body. We've got some pig who sleeps. Ready to turn back around and head now 1.47 kilometers instead of 1.46 or whatever. <laughs> We're doing well. We are definitely not going in the right direction. Bip Silver standing up. A very fat bear, flesh left long liver. Now it's to right home about, but a good kill. Do I have to be anywhere for the harvester reindeer at night quest? No, I just have to shoot one at night. The other thing I could do, and probably actually should do, is I'm gonna set a I'm gonna set a waypoint for that, I'm gonna fast travel here. I'm gonna pick up my night vision binoculars, swap out the range finder both sight. Uh which won't be super duper useful in the night anyway. Uh I mean it'll be as useful I suppose as is there is having said that, but it'll be as useful as anything else during the night. Shut up, Dizzy. Um, storage. Range find the site. You're out. Night, oh, night vision specs are down here. No, they're not. Where the hell are my night vision binoculars? Where the hell are my night vision binoculars? Night vision binoculars. There we go. Binoculars are in. Uh, garage. Quad bike. Quad bike requires that I put the volume down for you guys so that you don't end up being deafened. Uh, okie doke. Oh my god. It's so janky when I've got OBS open. Uh, I need to put the volume down for me as well. <laughs> so I don't get deafened. And then we're doing a mini road trip just to, to get us on our way. Oh, we are also remembering to actually put on our bow sight. Oh. Turning right here, going to the next intersection. We are slightly overshot the road, but only slightly. This doesn't feel as fast as it's been before. I don't think it has actually changed, but it just it's the feeling. 
doesn't feel quite as sort of white knuckle uh utterly insane. Hello. Another kitty cat rest zone. Oh. Alright, where are we going? Turning left here. It doesn't feel as responsive, actually, as it did before. Oh, Goldeck. That proper lagged me out as well, hit that. It feels like it turns more slowly and has a bigger turning circle. I'm probably imagining things. Right, and then... Right turn here. Not going too far. Right, okay. Uh, when we're here, we're going to detour off the road and head to the lake. Uh, one kilometer, that's much more manageable. We've cut a third of the distance off, and we've packed our night vision binoculars. Uh, we won't see anything for a while because it will all have been spooked away by our quad bike. We might not see anything until we actually reach that next checkpoint. Should I stay on the path? The path has the advantage of of being open and visible. Normally I stay off the paths because they're open and visible and animals wouldn't want to be there. Ah, uh, we'll, cut, we'll cut the corner. We're actually not even going to cut the corner. I'll just stay on the path. It's just easier. It's easier than shoving our head in a bush for no real reason. What I also think is interesting is... I sort of expected this map... I don't know if I've ever said this before. I expected this map to feel Skyrim. <laughs> And it doesn't. It doesn't feel Skyrim at all. It feels very distinct, and it's, you know, I sort of thought that, that... oh, it's quiet. That's because I turned the volume down. Hang on. Um, and, you know, I sort of thought that it would feel basically the same, like, you know, it's, everything's covered in snow. There's wild animals around. I don't... In hindsight, perhaps I don't know why I thought that. I don't know why I thought that snow would feel the same. But it doesn't feel like that at all. don't even know why it doesn't feel like that. It just doesn't. Oh, Dizzy's rambling again. I'll tell you what, though. We've not yet got to the Dizzy's yawning stage of playing this game, which is a success. I am, however, going to take a break for a quick drink. Okay, do we think those pigs are coming towards us? I'm honestly quite surprised we heard the pigs at all. I suppose they're what, about 300 meters away from where we parked the car? Because we've moved about 100 meters. Maybe 200. Okay. Perhaps it's not so surprising. Do, do, do. Uh, where else can we see? We can see over there. Uh, oh, that's another big old crater. Huh. I suppose this is the uh, the old tectonic subsidence. Oh, hello. Hello. What's all this then? Someone been sleeping here, have they? 
Well, can't be having that. I right, better go have a nosy. Hopefully, this is where the pigs are sleeping. No, they don't still seem to be here. Which might be my fault. Either from the noise of the old uh, automobile, or from the hoot and the hooter. No, this is another kitty cat zone. Never mind, forget I spoke. It's mere coincidence that the pigs were here. to the lake and we'll pop one of those on it and maybe pick up that. I'm assuming one of these is going to be a hunting stand that looks over the lake. Um, we are imminently going to need to switch binoculars as well. Oh, I've only got half an hour left as well of the stream. I nearly made it all the way tonight. Uh. No one around. It's just the wind. I say it's it's good to find kitty cat rest zones because they are the hardest things to hunt normally for cats, um, and we've not had any quests yet that I can think of that were about hunting cats. So presumably there's going to be a big old wave of them coming up later, uh, which is not ideal. Presumably there won't be any quests about hunting the new animals, the wolves or the, uh, whatever the hell they are, partridges. God, that thing is loud. I think that might have been the noise of a cat that smelt, no, it was coming from over here. We didn't get a sound cone. Uh, I am going to switch to night vision here. Oh, that is actually substantially worse. Um, but we, we won't have the others for more than a few more minutes. So... No, I think he's smelt me and he's probably off. Oh, hello! Uh, okie doke. Not seen me before. This is. Oh, I need number five. That one. With the cool sort of red stuff on it. Now, I have no way of attracting those guys. So it's gonna be a little bit of luck if he ends up still being where I heard him. But it would be cool if we could spot, and perhaps, what's that? That's a musk deer. We can't call them either. He seems to be well on the move. Now, where was that pheasant? Or partridge? Where the hell it was? It's a 
brown bear. Brown bear here somehow detected you from very far away. Probably not gonna get it. It was over here somewhere. We are also moving away from where we're supposed to be going. Apart from trying to provoke a warning. On it. Which is not what we want. I don't know any way of attracting it closer. I don't think these tracks are from it. Okay, well, we've heard one. But they now remain elusive. No, these are definitely not bird footprints. That's a rest zone for someone. So I'll at least go and check that out. Presumably all of the birds have rest zones. Although there's no particular reason to believe that this is from the same culprit. Oh, hello! Western Kappa Kai. You went this way. Okay, Pazemi Mira Gateway. That's not the map. Interesting. I'll come back to you in just a sec. That's another cat zone. This direction. I have a long way between tracks, but that's what you'd expect because they are. Oh, you're quite close. I could pop you. <sighs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna follow this bird trail. Right? God. I don't have any luck. Because one I saw a flash of purple off in this direction. But I've now lost it. If I did in fact see it in the first place. There. Went this way. I don't know how fast the birds move. The turkeys didn't seem to move very fast. Because they sort of flew and then stopped. Right, so you look like, well, bird feet. So in theory we can at least oh, we're heading completely the wrong way. We're gonna we're gonna call the bear the bust. We're gonna call the bear the bust. So we've only got half an hour. I would like to make it to that place. I don't know how likely it is, but I want to try. God, this is a very noisy scrub. Well, have we got the bloody noise glitch again? We have! We've got the noise glitch! I hate this glitch! <sighs> I 
hate when this happens. Basically, the game thinks you're in like a tree or some really noisy bit of foliage when you're not. I don't know why it happens, and it's really annoying just to listen to. Like, listen to this. Listen to me pushing through a bunch of underbrush that isn't real. Oh, that's infuriating. And, of course, it means that you're louder to animals. Um, and I don't know any way of forcing it to go away. Sometimes it goes away when you, like, crouch on crouch. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just have to live your life with this constantly irritating greenery sound. Like here, look, I'm out in the middle of the snow. Okay, moving backwards fixed it that time. I have to remember that for future. Should have gone for that musk deer. Ah oh, well. Right, we are closer than we've ever been. We also accidentally refound the path, but oh hello. Something was there for us to spot. Ah, oh, you're a musk deer. Over there. Three hundred odd meters away. Oh, hello, that's a little bit closer. Only a little bit closer. Something to take a pop at, which is what matters. I've lost where that musk deer was. <laughs> Apart from somewhere there ish, I now can't see it. I mind it might have been moved away by the moose. I don't think that's the thing that's supposed to happen, but you never know. Hello, who's that? A grey puppy dog. Okay, you're a class 5 animal, are you? There's a couple of you. Okay. Right, well, here's something new for us. You're level 4. You're level 8! 3, 5, 6. I wish I could tell what way you're facing. I think you're facing towards me. I think I'm good to go. Uh... They are not doing an awfully good job of fleeing, are they? Which is concerning. I'm worried. They might be thinking, oh, I'm going to have them. Even though their friends just died, they might be thinking lunchtime. I mean, we don't know of any... Oh, we do. We know of a wolf feed zone, or drink zone here. Um... Okay, well... We're gonna run at him. I'm 
missile and hope we can scare him off, basically. So we've done the trick. They have retreated to at least a moderate distance, which is all we need. You're a grey gold wolf puppy. Hello. You're very pretty looking. Kind of tempted to taxi down at you. You are another grey. Oh, I accidentally put you through the spine. That was a lot higher than I was intending for, but that's okay. Right. Am I going to go for that? I think I'm just going to press on. Right. How long have we got? 36 minutes past. Got plenty of time. Oh, that one was apparently red brown. Oh, I'm not expecting those musk deer to still be around, but it would be worth keeping an eye out for them just in case. It's weird. It's like kind of not that dark, weirdly. Even though I'm sure this is supposed to be winter in Siberia. Although actually, if the if, hmm, I don't know, maybe not. If we're studying permafrost, I guess maybe it's uh maybe it's summer and that's why it's light on the horizon. God, I tell you what though. This gun is a pack serious punch. Those two walls dropped on the spot. And it felt like it had more to give. <laughs> um, that moose spot is still on our map for whatever reason. Uh, we can be we can be absolutely sure the moose did not die. Moose, a separate moose did come this way though. Okay. One man thing coming up. Musk deer. If they're here. More or less on the other side of this bit of brush. So we're going to approach through it quite slowly. Just in case. No, oh, it doesn't seem to be a musk deer. It's okay. We'll check our key bindings. Must do is on number three. I'm gonna see what this is. Ooh, it's another flag. I like a flag. Oh, that's where he was eating. These are tracks left by those various moose that we spotted.
Peony Lairs. Don't laugh when I write, but Peony Lairs means drunken forest. Oh, wow, I wasn't the, the first person to make the comparison with the bendy trees then. Permafrost melts and forms uneven angles, trusting trees this way and that. Swaying like they are intoxicated. Huh. That's kind of nice and pleasing in a way. That feels like vindication. For my own silly little joke. Alright. We are nearly there. 400 meters to go. 20 minutes to get there. What do we actually have to do when we're there? We just have to travel. Oh, this is an outpost! Oh, well, that's good news. That means we can actually, like, save our progress. Um. Well, by save our progress, I, of course, mean, like, our journey time. Um, hello. I suppose you're interested in a distressed fawn, are you, Mr. Bear? Oh, hello. There you are. Oh, I absolutely cannot see you. Oh, I've got no arrows. Ow. I hate it when it does that. Come on, you just need to stay still. That'll do. I don't think it was a good hit, actually. Oh no, that was a good hit. Amazing. Subtle must deer. We haven't heard many much of those must deers for a few a few episodes now, but they're out in force down here. I gotta figure out which one of these is the right one. Ah, this one. There we go. Which way is that going? It's going this way, okay. Sure. Don't got far actually for a vital organ bow hit. Yeah, there we go. Not that far. But a little far. It cost us what? About a hundred meters of progress maybe? Now that I know there's walls on the map, it feels a little different being, being in woods at night, you know? Cinnamon bear, lung liver. Hello, who was that? Who was that one? A moose. That's my ball caller, I always make that mistake. Uh, let's put on the moose arrows. It's not, it's not. It's just what I call them.
traces of moose, but no moose. Right, you heard me. You may even have seen me. There you are. I hit you, I don't think I hit you well. I think that was a kind of a duff hit. Which is a shame. Please rate very low. Damn. No, but you have been eating here. Yeah? No organs hit at all. That was a really bad shot. Oh, this area is going to be hella confusing to trace you through because you've been all around here. Uh, blood. Blood. We want to kill you if we can. Haunting me, those musk deer. They know they're so close. I could, I could go for them at any time, but I'm always, I always find got something better to be doing. Um, that being said, do I really want to be chasing this moose that isn't going to die? Equally, do I want to be leaving it if it could die? Okay. I'm gonna leave that behind, so we know where we found it. And if it goes down, then we'll pick it up. But otherwise, we'll look for this musk deer and the old uh, just Where exactly Musk deer was? Unless he makes a noise again. There's not a lot I can do about that. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was actually a different one, but it's given me the way to go. About 180 to 200 meters that way. I don't know where exactly you are. Exactly where though, because I can't see you. Even though that area is mostly clear, you must be j just behind this tree, I suppose. Oh, I don't know what that noise was. Is that footprints? I think it is, you know. Please give me the spot and gear.
Oh, I used the wrong arrow there, didn't I? Oh boy. I properly wrecked back the stuff, didn't I? He had a real bad day. There, hello. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hell. Well, I spooked the bear. I lost where the musk deer went. There you are. Nope, I missed him. I don't know where I hit exactly, but I missed him. That's a musk deer behind me as well. Oh, of course, I can't see where I shot with this, can I? Egypt dizzy. I should have gone for the big gun. Oh well. Oh. I got my arrow back. That almost never happens. Where was that? There we go. Right, okay, we've got nine minutes to go. We're going to pick this up, we're going to hit the outpost, and then that's where we're going to call it for today. I really wish I could attract you. I really wish I had the caller for you. There might be a scent for you, I suppose. But scents are not worth the uh, time you spend reading their names in my book. Because the thing about scents is... You saw that you put them down and you leave them, and you've got to sense work by having an area you want to wait and ambush. And that's not how Dizzy works. Dizzy works by mostly going to things rather than letting things come to them. Like, I'll blow the caller and stuff. There we go. Hey, if we get a lynx, I'm happy. Stuck up a tree. I definitely hit it. You can tell I hit it because there's this bit here where all the tracks just suddenly end. That's how you know you've hit an animal and hunt a call of the wild. It suddenly stops being trackable. Bloody things. Um, it hasn't died and I can't actually see a blood splat. Even though I'm sure I did hit it. That's poop, that's not blood. Sometimes it takes a second to like spawn in. You're left just kind of sort of flailing. Which is not my favourite. Especially at night. Maybe I didn't hit it. Okay, well. We'll head to the waypoint. We'll, uh, see if it drops dead while we're gone. Maybe the tracks will load in if it does. Yeah, I don't think that's a bug that the Apex like officially acknowledged exists. What the? hell was that? What the absolute ever-loving bedazzles was that? God, this is... oh, blimey. 
prepare yourself before venturing back into the wild. You've earned a respite, but don't go turning lazy on me. We still have loads of work to do. Okay, well, I'm going to claim this, and then well, I'm actually going to sign off. So whatever this loads of work that we have to do is going to have to wait. Bad news. The gateway attracts many visitors, but not all of them are welcome. Some of the Nemeths traveling through your area have reported their food being stolen. Very unusual. Especially in winter. Before I go jumping to conclusions about poachers and mammoth pirates, can you see if this is an animal mammoth problem? Pirates. Like a wavered lynx, hungry brown bear. Check around you for tracks. Amazing. Uh, well, that's where I'm going to uh, leave it for today. It doesn't seem that that Lynx is uh, going anywhere. Uh, where's my transition screen? Got one somewhere. There we go. Marvellous. Uh, yeah, so if you've enjoyed watching, uh, please do remember to drop a follow if you're here with me on Twitch. Uh, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, do please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I'll be back to a more regular streaming schedule fairly soon, uh, which I'm sure will be uh, a great boon to everybody who who watches. Uh, in the meantime, look out for videos coming up soon. Uh, as mentioned, uh, and look out for me on Twitter at this for demise on Mastern Eldritch.cafe slash at this for demise. Uh, those are both places where you'll find out when I'm going live in future. Other than that, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, do check the uh, link in the description for uh, Jingle Jam Dono stuff. Uh, and I will see each and every single one of you next time. Ta-ra! Bye now!